Neutrals have existed since we realized they could be more than just gray. These days, a neutral color is a color that doesn't make a show of itself. They're classy, they're subtle, and they're surprisingly colorful. Today's neutrals are yesterday's pastels and are a beautiful combination of colours when used together. Creams, pale biscuits, cotton, shell, pale oyster, seagrass, they're all colours that are found within nature and look fabulous particularly in kitchens. A very pale olive green on the walls sets a fresh tone in a room and because of the white content bounces light into the furthest corners. A brown based cream on the woodwork sits next to it perfectly. The depth of colour is the same and they sing together and with each other in perfect harmony. Oak or beech woodblock worktop lend themselves to the look both in terms of palette and material. It's the pale ochre content that brings it all to life. Plenty of cotton white and honest natural materials should be used for the lighting and the accessories to complete the look. One word of warning though, one single synthetic item will knock the entire look out of kilter so keep it real. When mixing neutrals, stick to a limited palette of no more than four. Any more and it'll look accidental or indecisive. These colours look at their very best with natural textiles. Seagrass, jute, natural woods, leather, wool and heavy slub cottons. So you can easily use them in more comfortable rooms like sitting rooms. Although this look is predominantly a country shaker look, it'll look good pretty much anywhere. But if you're a city dweller and you want something more urban, then look at the muted neutrals. Soft, grey-based neutrals are perfect for bringing a more grown-up and sophisticated feel to a room. This set of neutrals are pretty varied and range from the pale shades of biscuit and sun-bleached wood right through to whetstone and pewter. Use a pattern paper on the wall to set the tone and prevent the scheme from becoming just too boring, this can be lightened up with a pale grey ceiling and woodwork. This look has a sophisticated air of 1950s New York, so it works particularly well with iconic pieces of furniture like this chair and side table. Red woods like rosewood are very retro too and again sticking with a 1950s styling you won't go wrong. Black masculine detail and accessories will give a sharp tailored edge. And if you feel the need to add a splash of colour, stick with a 1950s palette and go for some old fashioned mustard yellow. And just a little dab here and there. Using too much of the same tone will make it feel flat and uninviting, so vary the tones you use. And avoid using pure brilliant white. Rather than make the scheme lighter, it makes the colour seem lacklustre and gloomy. Now, who would have thought that brown was a neutral? But it is. These colours have come in and out of fashion for a hundred years, so inevitably have a look of one era or another. But they can look bang up to date like this. Using a mix of milk chocolate brown on the walls, twinned with a near brown aubergine, is the perfect backdrop for this chocker mocha look. A brown wool or felt corner seating unit loaded with cushions will make you want to get on it and never get off it cream flooring and even a floor cushion will continue the easy living look. Although gold works very well with this, it's the silver metals that look best and hit the spot. Chrome and glass side and coffee tables with plenty of space around them ooze style and a tinge of milky raspberry and full length curtains will ensure you don't completely overdo it and give the room a gorgeous glow. The combination of coffee, cocoa and chocolate is super sexy and can be added to with gold accessories for a truly sumptuous look. These colours thrive on wood, so bring in various dark woods with the floor and furniture. It'll really oil the wheels of this scheme. Dark neutrals also work beautifully well with the greys, light and dark, even a pinstripe. Make sure you choose a cool grey in a south-facing room to avoid the scheme looking faded and syrupy. 
So there you go, my guide to using neutrals successfully in your home. And the next time somebody says you're boring because you like them, you can honestly say they're anything but. <laughs>